Hey guys, welcome to Berean Babes Being the Know. I'm your host, Vale Chikoni. We begin. You are Austin, Texas. Austin, Texas, the elementary school have just decided to indoctrinate the kids in the elementary school. Two schools in particular are Black Fine Arts Academy in Austin, Texas hosted a drag queen story hour that was uh, conducted by Miss Kitty Lita, who is also uh, uh, who was convicted on male prostitution in 1996. But this school was not alone. We do have Doss Elementary School, which is a pre-K to fifth grade. They decided to host to hold a, a gay parade in their hallways at school. And these kids were pretty much chanting all things LGBTQ+. Ladies and gentlemen, the time has come and gone where you shouldn't be having your children in these schools. But we move on. John Stark, who is an author for TGC, he has proposed that what we are calling deconstructionists might not be it. This is simply people who have uh, decided to get rid of the idols in their life, get rid of their idols in their faith namely uh, conservatism or progressivism. This is what uh, he thinks is happening. According to him, it's high time that we need to stop being stiff naked inside the camp. There's no need to be controlling the narrative. Uh, history is full of our heroes who were pretty much not perfect angels. Moving on, Dr. Alison Barr. Dr. Alison Barr has now said that the Bible does not teach uh, patriarchy or complementarianism. According to her, if that's what you believe, well and good. But she will not be coming along with you because that's not what the Bible teaches. She has now pretty much embraced full egalitarianism. And oh no, by the way, she's also a pastor's wife. She's not alone in this. She was pretty much full supported by Dante Stewart who also believes that whatever uh, Dr. Alison Barr is saying is pretty much true. He believes uh, that the patriarchy is pretty much there just to oppress women as far as scripture is concerned. I'll just leave that up to you. Make that what you will. But I do believe wholeheartedly that the Bible teaches patriarchy. And yes, I do believe in complementarianism. And that's where I'm going to stay. And that's where I'm going to stand. I hope you join me because that's what the scripture teaches. Moving on, we have Brian Houston, who is the founder of Hillsong. Uh, this is the mega church. They're pretty much all over. He, he stepped down uh, last summer so he can take care of his legal troubles. And one of the gentlemen who has taken over his position is Phil Dolly, who is not wasting no time by cleaning house. Starting with um, Brian Houston himself. According to Phil Dore, Brian Houston failed to conducting himself according to the code of conduct that they have for pastors at Hillsong. He said that um, Brian Houston was texting with a woman and inappropriate messages. One of the staff, and this led to this staff member, ended up leaving. And also, uh, apparently, Brian Houston found himself knocking at the door of a woman who was not his wife. According to Yuson, um, he was drunk and he, because he had also taken some sleeping pills. So this ended up him finding himself in this room with a woman who was not his wife. But both uh, these female have, uh, have said that nothing, there was no sex that was involved. However, um, because of all these things, now they have simply decided to pretty much get rid of all the messages on Hillsong channel that has Brian Hillsong uh, preaching since I think all the way, it's going back all the way from 2010. Whether this gentleman is going to be forced to uh, leave Hillsong or not is yet to be seen. But as of right now, uh, they've, uh, they've purged all Hillsong um, messages that were conducted by Brian Newsom. And Brian Newsom is still uh, 
taking care of his legal troubles that he has to answer before the court of law. Lastly, we do have a jury Royce of the Royce Report. This woman, she's on a mission and one person who's standing in her way is none other than John MacArthur. Jury Royce reported that Ligonier Ministries have removed John MacArthur as one of their speakers who was headlining their um, conference starting March 24. And Jury Royce decided after she had reported this to find out the exact truth why John MacArthur um, was not participating in legal near ministries. According to Jury Royce, it's because MacArthur has been fooled in this so-called scandal of covering up the sex, the sex abuse. You already know the shenanigans. But when Jury Royce uh, decided to find out from Ligonier, they told her the reason it was John MacArthur himself who pulled out not to participate um, in this particular conference, even though he was scheduled to be one of the speakers. I repeat, John MacArthur decided on his own volition not to participate on Ligonier Ministry Conference. I'll just leave that up to you. And if that is not all, Jury Royce is right now edging um, the Gettysburg uh, Music Conference. That is also going to have uh, John MacArthur as one of their speakers. Jury Royce has taken it upon herself to urge some of the speakers who will be speaking at this conference, uh, just to name a few, John Piper, Paul Tripp, and Shailene. Jury Royce wants these people to come out and pretty much denounce John MacArthur. Ladies and gentlemen, I'll just leave that up to you. What is not in dispute? John MacArthur was not charged with any crime regarding this incident. If there are any charges to be brought as of today, no charges have been filed. No charges were filed 20 years ago. If we believe that the court, what they, what they did was right by rocking um, David Gray, in order to be consistent, wouldn't we say the same thing, that the court did not find anything in order for them to charge John MacArthur? That is a question that I pose to you. Another question that I pose to you, do you believe that O.J. Simpson was guilty or innocent? According to the court, they found O.J. Simpson as innocent. I'll just leave that up to you. Do we have people on death row who are innocent? Are there people who ended up being executed but they were innocent? Are there people who are guilty roaming our streets today who should be locked up? I'll just pause and leave those questions up to you. Ladies and gentlemen, what I urge everybody is to think critically and to reserve judgment. We were never there 20 years ago. We don't know who said what, who did what. The information that we have is exactly what we have. But as they say, there's always uh, different sides of the story. But the truth shall, shall prevail in this life or in the next. God knows it all. Well, I just leave you with this proverb. Do not answer a fool according to his folly. But answer a fool according to his folly. Lest you be like him. Or lest he be wise in, on his own, uh, in his own consent. I think I'm jumping up this proverb. But you get the point. That's all I had for you guys today. I hope you find this to be informative to you. Be sure to subscribe. And follow me on all social media, Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter at Burians Babes. Until next time, remember to be in the know.